In this video, I installed all the Terraria whip mods. Let's go ahead and check them out in game. So we got four whip mods here. Let's go ahead and run through them very quick. Starting with this first one, we just got rope whips. All right, these whips look uh, fairly early game. As you can see, their damage very low and the materials they're made out of, they gotta be pretty easy. Let's start with this one, the chain whip. A little, little tiny range, nice little early game basic whip. And then we got a flaming version. So this is kind of like the uh, the flail or the mace that you can set on fire. Next up, we got the rope whip. You know, this is a fairly traditional whip. A uh, very low range, like extremely low. I don't know how I feel about this one. But if it is early game, you know, it's not that bad. Next up, we got the large vine. A lot more range. I could almost reach the third one. Oh, I can. If I, if I get close enough to kiss this mannequin, I can reach the third one. And last but not least, we got the web whip. Poisons enemies when struck. Nice. Get a little poison on them. Do a little whip damage. Get your summons on them. It's a lot of good damage coming out from this one. All right, next up, we got tears whips and summons. Let's go ahead. Let's grab all these whips here. Run through them. We got the fishing whip. Let's see it in action. So this is like a fishing pole looks like here very very unique of an idea i like it this one it seems pretty slow like i have omni swing on but it's not working next up we got the grave buster look like a weapon you'd seen like shovel knight or something this one not bad next up we got the flesh whip sounds delicious Ooh, this one has some nice range then we got the scorpion whip this one does a good bit of damage i'm assuming we're in hard mode territory now good damage long range you'd like to see it next up brilliant decay this one looks fast uh, i'm gonna i am gonna note that none of these work with omni swing and i'm assuming this for balancing reasons makes sense but people who have bad wrists you know oh well nobody loves you next up the tongue it's so sticky oh really this one i might have to keep to the side for later uses but let's see the damage and speed nice and then last but not least we got sauron's eye the all-seeing eye lord of the rings reference good damage like very very good damage this is definitely higher than like most of the vanilla whips if not all of them all right next up we have some unofficial calamity whips let's go ahead let's check them all out here we got the wolfram chain uh, early game whip it's got decent range for being an early game whip plus it works for the omni swing amazing we got the static scourge it infuses enemies with static electricity which your minions can discharge to release sparks that's actually pretty cool i like that idea i kind of want to see it in action with a summon i'm gonna summon in a squirrel here and uh let's see if i can just bring in some zombies here come over here squirrel go ahead and release the 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 discharge okay aim now aim a little bit whatever it, it might have worked who knows all right next up we got the congealed duo whip shoots two slimy whips in the opposite direction Ooh, very unique of an idea i like this one creative very creative after that we got the sulfuric scourge your minions will release toxic clouds into the air let's just see how the whip is normally nice and you saw that was that the the squirrel over here that threw that nut yeah it might have been something fell from the sky we got the standstone reigns your minions will summon a charging sandstone soldier to tag team Ooh, i like that one oh you saw it he, put, he popped out for a second he popped out for a second i was gonna get a better look at him but he does eventually pop out you saw that there he was was that a jojo reference i have no idea lash of languish your minions will release a brimstone explosion on hit let's see it i am enjoying how uh, unique and varied these are and how creative they are oh and there you go there's a little brimstone that hit it nice we got righteous dawn next if you're nearby your target your minions will imbue you with resistance okay let's see it in action here uh do i get like a buff in the top left I have no idea. I'm not seeing anything. Maybe it's just like a silent buff, you know? No actual icon pops up. Next up, we got the Resonant Striker. Infuses you with pure resonance on each hit, increasing your movement speed and melee speed. So this is the first one that's just like a whip for us rather than our summons. And oh my God, <laughs> that thing, that thing was whipping it. Last but not least, we got Unrelenting Torment. Your minions will call disembodied claws from beyond. Oh my god. This thing's got some range, some distance, and some power. Where's the, the, the hands from beyond, though? Maybe let's fight a boss to see these hands from beyond. Like, I, I want to see these hands from beyond. 
Oh, there you go. Last but not least, we got a lot of them here. We're going to try and breeze through these. But we got the whips and more mod. This adds in whips and more. Who would have thought? But not nah, for real. Look how much content there is. There's a good bit of content in this mod. I think there's armors and a bunch of other stuff. There's also a whole new class that throws balls. Terraria balls playthrough coming soon. I don't know. All right, let's get to it, though. We got the chain whip. Let's just, let's just see it in action. Oh, I'm not even near the minions. This is a very simple early game whip. And then we got a flaming version. So very similar to the first mod we saw here. Next up, we got the star striker. Let's go ahead. Let's see this in action. It does bring in stars every now and then. Very nice. After that, we got the worm whip. Anything special about this? Or is it just like a decent whip? It is just a decent whip. Next up, we got the tongue. Let me see the tongue in action. I think I'm going to set this one to the side too for uh, personal uses. We got the blue stool whip. After that, let's see how it is. You know, it's just a nice little dungeon upgrade. After that, we got Dawnstar. And I ain't talking about the city in Skyrim. It says hitting an enemy to gain a defense boost. Oh, very slow though, but we do get a little defense boost as you can see in top left. After that, we got the bee stinger. B stuff is usually self-explanatory, usually poison related. After that, we got frostbite, probably frostburn related. Okay, we should be entering hard mode territory here. We got the pearlwood rainbow whip. I missed the pearlwood whip, the regular one. Is pearlwood, is that shadow flame it's putting out? That's cool. And then we got the rainbow version. I don't know, rainbow flame, who knows? After that, we got whip of light. This is just a very fast whip, cool. And then we got corruption's curse first flames and then we got crimson cracker which obviously this is gonna put ice core and enemies the usual crimson and corruption combo after that we got the true dern doll so this is just a stronger variant of the dern doll as you can see we get light's blessing dern doll's blessing nice after that we got true knight's fury was there like a knight's fury version that i passed up i have no idea maybe there is and i just wasn't paying attention yeah look there is a knight's fury how did i not grab this i don't know Let's see this in action real fast. I'm assuming it's just all the whips put together in one. And then we got the true version, which gives us a buff. We got the keychain. Let's see the keychain in action. Oh my God, another super fast one. You can kind of see the, the keys on it. It's a little fast, but you can see the keys on it. We got the crystal whip. This one, a little slow, but does decent damage. After that, we got the all seeing whip. It says hidden enemy to summon an all seeing eye. Ooh, I like this one a lot gives us a little eyeball summon very nice you know goes together with the summoner class all right we got our last set of whips here starting with this one mighty whip long worm long whip i, I don't know about that description let's see it in action it's not that long actually no that's 10 times above average size in my personal opinion i think this whip is the perfect size it's got a good personality too next up turbo lash this is, sounds like something you would use to do your taxes let's see it in action Ooh, another nice little fast whip with great damage and we get more speed upon using it after that we got the terror whip this one is a terror weapon you know you expect the usual stuff from terror weapons and then you get a little increased summon damage cool after that we got the shell smasher just another heavy-handed whip decent damage after that we got the stardust whip cool to see that there's a whip for stardust weapons because you know stardust is the theme for the summoner late game stuff so it's cool that there's a whip to go along with it after that we got the purity rainbow whip this one i'm assuming is just a stronger rainbow whip from earlier aka this after that we got korite on a stick so korite that's that one spinning enemy in the solar uh pillar and this looks pretty good a little explosion on top of decent damage and plus it lights them on fire that's really good after that we got the shroomite star we get defense from whipping with this let's go ahead let's see it very slow but it does do really high damage plus it puts a little burn effect on them or poison whatever the hell that is after that we have dad's belt this is probably the most dangerous whip of them all he came back with the milk uh oh hidden enemy to summon a sniper daddy what the heck my dad is really back i want to see him snipe something though yeah i guess you want to snipe them because they're minions go ahead snipe him oh yes sir dad is back and he's ready for that action welcome home dad and last but not least we got the suspicious whip hidden enemy to summon an imposter let's go ahead let's see this imposter oh 
It really is an Among Us, dude. All right, let's bring in uh, let's bring in the eye. I want to see the imposter go to work. Oh, he's just attacking regular. See, I thought he was actually gonna turn into like the imposter with like the the teeth and the head, whatever. But nah, he's just a floating ass purple. <laughs> these whoops are very dope, though. I, I like this. I like these a lot. If I were to give a rating here before I ended the video, I would say this is probably number one. This is probably number two. This is three and this is four. Yeah, make sure to check out the mods in this video. If you ever want to do a whip only playthrough, Terraria Mods got you. I'll see y'all in the next video.